Of course, there are big ticket items on the November ballot for Florida voters. That includes legalizing recreational marijuana. The voters are given the choice on Amendment 3. If approved by at least 60 percent of voters, the proposal will amend the state's constitution to allow adults 21 and older to possess, purchase, or use marijuana for non-medical purposes. Today, Governor Ron DeSantis spoke out against that initiative, arguing the state already has legal marijuana in the form of medical marijuana. He also took aim at True Leave, the company behind a multi-million dollar push to legalize weed. This amendment is being written to benefit this one big weed company. It is not meant to benefit you. It's not meant to benefit the state. If the amendment passes, there would be more licensing opportunities available to diversify the market. Another big concern, DeSantis argues, is people smoking marijuana in public places. Republican State Senator Joe Gruder supports legalizing marijuana. He's working to pass a bill that bans all forms of smoking, something he believes will address concerns about Amendment 3. We can make it safer. I think it's time to decriminalize, and I think we can control the time, place, and manner. If Amendment 3 passes in November, state lawmakers would still have to create a law officially legalizing recreational marijuana. Ted Tampa Bay has taken the guesswork out of Florida's recreational marijuana ballot measure. Right now on 10TampaBay.com, under our Verify tag, you can find a breakdown of what Amendment 3 would mean for our state.